The coronavirus is presenting a conundrum around passenger rights. As per these maps, the air traffic across Europe has dropped by 80%. The European Commission is attempting to alleviate the concerns of travellers and companies affected by the outbreak. When a passenger does not uh, receive the service for which uh, uh, he or she paid, they have to be reimbursed, um, and this is clear by legislation, reimbursed. They can be offered vouchers or other services, but only if they agree to accept this type of services. This is the law right now, but we are looking to see how we can help the airlines to... Uh, cope with the liquidity problems they have right now um, while protecting also the rights of passengers. The International Air Transport Association has estimated that potential claims for cash refunds from EU airlines could total 9 billion euro through to the end of May alone. In a statement to Euronews, Airlines for Europe says EU member states and or national enforcement bodies should consider accepting a system of refundable travel vouchers as an alternative to immediate refunds. According to the President of the Transport Committee of the European Parliament, every stakeholder should act responsibly, but the priority should be for passenger rights to be respected. The member states must provide exceptional measures to support the most vulnerable people and the companies must apply the regulations correctly. The longer the planes are grounded, the tougher the hit on the industry. Jack Parrick, Euronews.